Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm at uh, DBS Bristol and I'm doing a workshop on mixing Atmos in film. Reverb is like one of the most important tools in terms of mixing and um, it just, it's the thing which helps like make everything sound realistic. Um, so yeah, d definitely like if you, if you want to get into mixing, definitely get into your reverbs. And um, in this, we're using uh, LX4, Relab LX480, um, which is like, for me in terms of like interior stuff, it's, it's great. Um, uh, it's stereo. There's a lot of like surround reverbs now, um, but I tend to like, I, I quite like just working in stereo and I like having them, uh, I have them as objects. Um, so, you know, if you're somewhere uh, with a nice big reverb room, you can move it into the heights and get that sense of, you know. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah. Reverbs are, reverbs are essential and fun. Uh, good little bit for the reverb. Let's go to somewhere. This scene here is pretty good. So, they're in like a big. I told you, speak to Frankfurt, get it sorted. Oh, hey, for me. Is your name Julia? It is, if you want it to be. So you've had your hair cut, Julia? It's your arm hidden. as small as I can see what's going on. So in terms of like reverb here, um, let's get me all this off. Let input. What exactly happened there? Then, do you like it? I like it. That's for the moment. It's been a long moment. <laughs> Yourself. So that's without the verb. Is oh. So we're going to bring the verb back in. So. What exactly happened then? No, no, you're kidding. You're kidding. I told you. Speak <laughs> to Frankfurt. Get it sorted. Is your name Julia? It is if you want it to be. Bring the verbs back in. Hey, for me. Is your name Julia? It is if you want it to be. So you've had your hair cut, Julia? And what we've done here is we've put them up there as well, so you get that sense of like big car park or whatever that's meant to be um so yeah if you've got a really reverberant recording you need to make a reverb that matches what what's happening um and but also like isotope is pretty good at removing reverb so like yeah yeah it's amazing like and especially in the last like is it clarity waves clarity and a few of these tools is like it's insane actually how much uh I've, I've, so recently i've been working on um uh, a film and they had a bunch of guys on this boat and the whole dialogue just you had just like eh, 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 of just like boats rocking and like you can just get rid of you know rid of it all now it's pretty insane but if you, if you don't have that to hand try and uh try and match it and uh, another trick we do as well is um some dialogue editors will cut things really close to the line and you'll hear it just like drop off dead um and sometimes it's nice to have like a mono reverb and you have it up the you have it up the center or make a multi mono reverb um so a trick I tend to do is like, if you're working in 7.1, make a 7.1 multi-mono reverb. So whenever you pan your dialogue, it will trigger that, that reverb so you can pan things around. Um, and then that's a good way of kind of like cheating it and try and match what you can hear um, uh, in the recording. And then it's a good way of like cheating and getting that kind of nice smooth kind of tail at, at the end of it as well. But yeah, generally, um, yeah, if they're really like really really reverberant, it's kind of like you know, it is what it is. Uh, Got to work around that. Um, there's a lot of like 
yeah, in dialogue working around what you have. Uh, and hoping, get really friendly with any good like rec sound recordists, you know, because they can get them in all the jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, th there are two verbs I mainly use. One is the LX480, which is, yeah, like it's not convolution. The other one is uh, ultiverb. Um, it's really expensive. <laughs> and if you buy like, I don't know, the surround versions, like a grand or something. Um, 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 so yeah, like if you're working in like a mixed facility, you normally will like have it because it's quite a standard, but that's like a really, really good reverb. And they've been to like the most insane places across the planet and, and got IRs and they're really, really good. Um, but yeah, um, it's also as well, like trying to match what's happening in the picture. You're trying to, you know, if, if it's a realistic dialogue scene, you've got to have a look and see what's happening and you've really got to try and use the verb to try and recreate what you would expect to hear. Um, so I would like listen to the reverb tales and try, um, if you've got like a dry bit of, of dialogue, put, basically play it through and try and get it. And you just got to like match it by ear. So um, so as well, in terms of uh, my, my job with Pinewood, when I do localization mixing, sometimes I uh, create like a template. So say like a big animation or a TV show, sometimes we'll do like 40 languages that's mixed to this one show and they've all got to be consistent. So we make like a template and everyone uses that. Everything from in terms of like the reverbs, the radios, when they're on, you know, trying to match it all by ear, which is like, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, at the time, you know, you sit there for like several hours, just like, I've just been like listening to reverbs and surrounds. But, <laughs> um, um, but it's a good exercise and, you know, in terms of, yeah, it's like, so in terms of the session I got there, it was like listening to the stems. So it's like, you have to listen to the dry and wet sometimes in the stem. If you don't, if you're not sent the reverbs, you're just given a dialogue stem. So uh, I'll have my dialogue and I'll basically like A, B. So on Dadman, you can, you know, basically set like on a button. So you can just go like, the English mix, my mix, and you can just have to listen and A, B until it's like, right, that line matches, it sounds good. A lot a lot of matching, listening, and, and just, you know, and it's good as like an experiment as well, just to try and um, um, train, you know, so I think it's like really good training for your ears to get into that.